betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Well, at the end of the show, uh, both Sheldon and I have chosen a bar pot uh, each. It's not one bar pot. So he's chosen one, I've chosen one, and I have a sneak peek at his numbers before coming on air. And when I had a look at his numbers compared to my numbers, it's totally different. <laughs> it just tells you that this is an absolute nightmare. I think, he's, I think you've gone four numbers in the bar pot. I've gone three. None of them match. 100%. So total different numbers we've gone. There's a horse called Bird Watcher. We'll be horse watching in this race. <laughs> yeah, very different. I mean, judging by our selections for the bar pot, and that will come up in uh, the suggested bet, which is at the end of the show, well, it tells you what we think of the race. But I'm going to declare my, my, my three numbers here, Sheldon, before we move along to you. Talking about Bird Watcher, I've gone for her in the past. Well, she's covered my money with the places, but she can't put her head in front for the wins. Well, last time out from the draw running on, she needs a luck. She needs a lot to go away. Maybe this time around she can get it right. Leopard Lady uh, will be keeping an eye. You know, when I go to that run behind Fabulous, I'll keep a close eye on that horse reefway, I think, earlier on in the card race number three and see how she goes there. If she wins, I think this horse will go very close to winning. And then Royal Kitty, well, she is in a form of a career as a six-year-old. She took forever. I think she took over three years to get that second career win and how soon it's so quick it's gone now and she's got three wins and it's keegan de mello the man for the job we'll have to overcome the draw she'll need luck from there so i'm gonna go in my selections five six and eleven in the bipod and the pa field wide uh pick six wide likewise in the bar pot i'm gonna go with numbers one three four and nine <laughs> and then looking at the other exotics i think just about yeah. the field two runners i just want to touch on quickly a 33 to one shot number two lollapalooza worth a second glance at 33 to one was once upon a time a 91 down to a 69 well, not a 33 to 1. I think that's around 10, 12 to 1. The 33 to 1 shot is number 7, Spirit of Dasher. A horse who could just be upset material. Yeah, you know, if you're looking for runners like that, then it just spells field. I think, guys, all the best, yeah. Um, 1, 3, 4, and 9 for Sheldon. 5, 6, and 11 for me. That's for the bar pot and the place accumulator. The pig six and the jackpot. Best of luck. Hopefully, the numbers fall in place for you. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.